Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Acting Attorney General. A job that comes with the responsibility to protect the special counsel until his work is complete. The Acting Attorney General's office responded. This letter, which I ask now to be admitted to the record, which, by the way, didn't do their job, and we'll probably hear a lot about that today. How about if you give Keller to every number that doesn't just say rust fragment? Because right? okay. it's going to be. Uh... So don't assign any numbers to rust fragments, but yeah. still type that entry. In. Yeah, yeah. Adrian Cobb works as an archaeology lab assistant, putting measurements made in the field into a digital archive. But you also, <laughs> you also do some other things at work. Yeah, I try and keep up on the political news as it's happening. Does anyone here care about that? It's a fair I mean, my boss, right? yeah, she's really, she's cool. She's, as long as I get my work done, yeah. it's fine. Really, she never says, like, you know, you're watching a little too much C-SPAN at work? Yeah. I'm listening to it and working. Every time an illegal alien causes harm... She's multitasking because she's obsessed not with C-SPAN, but with Robert Mueller, President Trump, the Russians, and everything special counsel. She boils down the bulk of related news into a weekly recap that goes out to 75,000 subscribers. You know the obvious connection people would make to what you're doing here and what your job is, right? You like digging. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I've never thought of it like that, but I guess, I guess that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> Living at home gives Cobb time to dig. Here, there's just her family, her dog, and her computer. The real action happens online, where she sifts through a week's worth of articles and legal filings, looking for any new revelations. So over the week, I put all the links that I found to anything that even might be slightly relevant or interesting in Evernote. I go through all of those by topic, and I read them and try and summarize the most important parts in a Google Doc in Reddit format and in a blog post that uh, will be separate for people who don't aren't on Reddit or don't like Reddit. These are basically like mini book reports, a bunch of little book reports strung together. Cobb isn't breaking stories or developing sources, which is why she doesn't call herself a journalist, just an aggregator who can help people stay on top of the latest reporting. As the Mueller probe has expanded, her recaps have two. They can reach up to 5,000 words. So much stuff happens in a week that a lot of people don't have time to catch it all. And what I'm trying to do is put it all in one place, simplified form, so that they can go through and see if they missed anything. The weekends, I, I try not to do anything else. It's, I, I, try to get, I try my best to get it out Monday morning. Really? Yeah. So the social life has been sacrificed for Robert Mueller. <laughs> I didn't have a social life before this, so. She posts to a subreddit for other Mueller obsessives called Keep Track. She doesn't know how many people read them. Reddit doesn't tell her. Cobb thinks her audience skews liberal, though she tries to stay neutral. On Twitter, I definitely put my own reaction into it, but for the recaps, I want it to be something that even like just a conservative could read and get value out of it and not be turned off by me putting my opinions in it. While Cobb avoids speculating, she does include the guesswork of others. Well, okay, one thing that I really want to know is that mystery unknown foreign company who's involved in a Supreme Court fight over Mueller's grand jury subpoena. One journalist noted that the name of the company, it was, it was redacted, but they noticed that the width of the redaction fit about 22 to 27 characters long, and Qatari Investment Authority fits within that character length. To see how deep in the Mueller weeds she could get, we quizzed her. Peter Smith. Peter Smith um, was a GOP operative. He was trying to find Hillary Clinton's emails. Felix Sater, he was involved in trying to get um, build a Trump Tower in Moscow. Paul Erickson, he's often described as a GOP operative. And he somehow befriended Maria Butina, who is now admitted to being a Russian spy. Randy Kredinko. Roger Stone said Randy was his connection to WikiLeaks. Credico says, no, that's not true. Roger Stone threatened him. He threatened to kill his dog, take his, take his dog away, his therapy dog. So 
A man with a Nixon tattoo on his back is threatening a comedian from New York that he's going to steal his dog uh, because of some blonde weirdo that's living in the Ecuadorian embassy in London. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Following these Byzantine connections fills a void in Cobb's life. She started after she kicked another addiction. So when was the last time you did heroin? Three or four years ago. Three years ago. I don't, I don't have, like, I don't... I, didn't, I don't like AA or NA. I don't keep yeah. track of a sober day. It's just sort of... Yeah, I know. Just, yeah. You're, just, you're just done. Yeah. You don't do it anymore. You vape. You don't have any other addictions at the moment. No. But you have an addiction to the Mueller investigation. <laughs> I guess right? you could say that. It's kind of a shift, isn't it? Yeah, but I mean, I think part of being sober is keeping your mind busy. The times I felt I was on, always relapsed was when I had a long period of time with nothing to do. So I just try and stay busy now. But you don't worry at this point if, that if there are pl- times when you're not busy. No, I, I don't even think about it anymore. So if Bernie Sanders becomes president, <laughs> you're not going to become a heroin addict again? No, no. Then, yeah. And then I'll just go back to archaeology or whatever my next project is. <laughs> Good. The special counsel's report and whatever comes after won't be the end for Cobb. I'll, I, don't, I, I don't know. I, I'll, I'll keep going until I feel like I know everything I that it's possible to know about that. So, so the, the Mueller report the, does not mean when that is delivered, does not mean the end of this? No, not necessarily. But it might. It might. I mean, I have a feeling that there's going to be prosecutions ongoing. I mean, he spawned a lot of investigations in SDNY and all these other areas. So I feel like it's going to keep going even after his report is out. It won't feel when this actually drops that, you know, you've just broken up with somebody. No, no. So you go into something else. I, I can't say when I'm going to feel like it's done, but when I do feel like it's done, I'll, I'll pick something else out. <laughs>